Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of the Dental Review Guy and today we are going to talk about the, a second face bow. You know, this face bow is the Panadent face bow and I actually really like this face bow. It has a really rigid construction and it's not a spring type of face bow so you don't run into issues with the, with the sort of flexibility of the metal which is something which I've seen in other face bows so that's pretty good. So let's just talk about the basic components. This is of course the bow part, the earpiece part, similar to any other earpiece type of face bow. This is related to nasion. So this is the nasion um, to indicate the nasion and this would be for the infraorbital notch. So you have two positions where you can choose your third point of reference. This of course unscrews, I've just added it on right now just to make things easier for us. So that's the earpiece part. Now coming to what actually goes into the patient's mouth, this is the bite fork. You can either use compound over here or you can use some impression material over here and or a bite registration material and seat this into the patient's mouth. Once this is seated into the patient's mouth, you have the transfer assembly over here. I'm not sure exactly what Panadent calls this, but I just call it the transfer assembly. So you would seat that in here through this and you would then of course have this part in as well connected to the earpiece so now again handling this without a patient is a little bit challenging but when you do this on a patient once or twice it becomes fairly simple now the really really nice thing about this system and I first thought this was a big problem is the fact that it gives you this screwdriver and tighten these things I need to use this screwdriver that's going to be really challenging and that's going to be kind of annoying but I really felt secure using this screwdriver system to tighten these little thumb nuts over here or again I'm not sure what they call it it's not thumb nuts I guess they just call it screws so we tighten it we get it to a nice position which is confirming to the patient's face and we tighten that in place but as you can see I'm struggling over here trying to do it without an actual patient now once this is all done you can actually unscrew this and we take it to the articulator. Now on the Panadent PSH articulator, I've already removed the custom incisal guide table and I've instead just put the face bow mounting jig. Again, I've not really learned the names over here because it doesn't matter, it just jumps from company to company, they call it different things. But you essentially get this into place, tighten this, and they also provide you a little support. They provide you a little support which, uh, which is similar to what Hanau does as well so that you can stabilize this bite fork and then you mount the upper cast and you're then able to close the articulator, put some plaster and that's the end of your Facebook mounting. So it's pretty simple. I like this system. I like the fact that it's rigid. Generally a lot of my rehabilitations uh, I use this, this um, Facebook because I really like the construction and the convenience of it and the fact that it comes with this screwdriver to really make sure things are tight so that there's no movement. So on a scale of 0 to 10, I would give this a score of probably fantastic, right? Let's go with that. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little review of the Panadent Facebook. And till we meet the next time, this is your Dental Review Guy signing off with a smile.